Watch you guys, do you really need to pay for antivirus software in 2019? What is the difference between free antivirus software and paid antivirus software? And also, what is the best antivirus software out there? These are the questions that I get asked all the time and we're going to be answering them in this video. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the free and paid antivirus companies that I've chosen here. There is other ones available, but you can see here, I've just got a vast up here, which offer free antivirus and paid versions as well. They're always adding on discounts and things like that. Even when you use the free version, you'll get bombarded by uh, the advertisements for free uh, upgrades or, or, or half 50% off and stuff like that all the time to try and get you to pay for their uh, antivirus. Now, paid antiviruses have been around for a long time. McAfee and Norton have exploited that for many, many years. And, of course, they've sort of gone away a little bit. And now we've got other antivirus companies coming to the forefront. But you've got other ones like uh, Avira, uh, which back in the day uh, were known for having a pretty good free antivirus program. And also we've got AVG, Bitdefender, Offer, uh, paid and free versions Kaspersky also offer free and paid versions also now there's also other companies out there like McAfee Norton um, Malwarebytes MCSoft the list goes on and on and on I've just chosen a few of these just to clear up some questions that you may have so let's take a look at what the difference is between free and paid so first off another misconception is the free version aren't as uh, good at detecting malware or viruses as the paid version and that's simply not true the core protection for the for the uh, platform is the same but what you get when you buy uh, the antivirus off of uh, say Kaspersky, Bitdefender, um, AVG or any of these other companies is you get ac extra added features on there and this is what you're paying for now this as a whole will give you much better uh, protection and uh, that means that when you're surfing online when you're doing banking online the f the paid versions are going to give you that extra added protection you can see here protection when you're online banking or shopping you get that extra protection with the paid version over the free version now as a a, a professional IT person myself I know what to click on and what not to click on I'm not going to go ahead and start downloading pirated software and installing that on my system, running uh, cracks and stuff like that, which are going to infect the system. And most of these sites are uh, going to be offering you that sort of uh, download because they want to get you infected. Now, if you're savvy enough and you're not stupid enough to download them things, then you may get away with using the free version. But again, if you've got young children, and you want to keep them safe online and protect them from some of the nasty sites out there then you may want to consider paying for your software because you do get that extra added parent control and also extra features uh, to protect your kids on pc mac and mobile you can also use that here on many cross platforms like those uh, with the paid version and this means that you're going to get those extra added bonuses like that for your children which will also block a lot of those nasties that you don't want your children to see so that's also an added extra bonus you can see all the companies here do that sort of thing here they uh, take that feature away on the certain uh, free and uh, the Bitdefender Antivirus Plus you don't get that there as well for children so you would have to go for the extra added total security here some of them call it something different um, you know different types of um, names they call it premier you can see here which has got extra added features here and there is comparison sites which you can look at out there which will tell you uh, what uh, is best for you okay so let's go ahead and answer uh, some other questions now, another one that gets asked all the time is what is the best antivirus? The best antivirus really is yourself and it's you that actually gets infected, not not the antivirus letting you down. It's actually you clicking on uh, dodgy links 
or you know downloading dodgy stuff so that is the sort of thing you have to change to stop getting infected and uh, if you're looking at uh, websites that say you've just won an iPad and you start clicking on those links and filling in their forms eventually you're going to get infected with adware and junkware now some of these uh, premium services that these antivirus companies use will help you protect you against those sites of sites whereas the free versions sometimes don't uh, protect you as well when it comes uh, to protecting you against those so they fall false Microsoft sites it will automatically block a lot of those sites for you whereas the free version will just let those come on in and that's because you haven't got the added protection here when browsing so it might be browser protection it could be also ransomware which is another big concern in 2019 it's been around for a while and if you haven't got ransomware protection and you're vulnerable to that sort of infection or for that type of stuff then you've got to be very careful because you will fall foul to it and you'll end up having all your data encrypted so having ransomware if you're a beginner user it might be advisable to pay for your software because you do get the multi-layer ransomware protection whereas the free version doesn't really give you that extra added protection you can use other programs that help do that too now another thing to take into account as well is firewalls now I've always used a firewall and a lot of the free versions don't come with a firewall and uh, certain versions uh, paid versions don't come with it either and if you are going to uh, pay for it and that is a big thing for you then you need to make sure you get the right type of version that does have that included in their package and normally you can see here it will tell you basically our most advanced PC uh, antivirus all our best features all included in for that price uh, again uh, sometimes you will only get that in certain versions you have to check each individual company themselves to find out what you actually get for your money okay some offer more than others uh, so you check all the uh, small print out and basically uh, check what your requirements are and go with that version so another thing I wanted to answer is if you're a business or someone like that then you should be using paid software uh, the paid versions of antivirus because it just gives you that extra added protection and file protection and stuff like that whereas the free versions don't and you could have temporary staff coming into your company using the computer and if you haven't got those protections on there then you're going to fall foul to being infected and of course that could encrypt all your data across the network having anti-ransomware on there is essential for a uh, for a business or small business uh, password protection as well and you'll get different layers of security with paid software whereas the free versions you'll get very limited uh, type of protection so it just depends on what your needs are now checking the comparison sites here you can see it will give you a breakdown of what you get for paid and free and these sites are available on the internet you can see here uh, compare antiviruses and it tells you what you're getting for your money this is a big thing that I've noticed lately on the free versions they're taking away the avoid fake sites for safety and shopping online and this is those fake Microsoft sites and things like that they would normally get blocked by paid versions but the free version will let them go through and uh, if you're vulnerable like you're a beginner user you may want to think about using something like that to protect yourself you know also another thing like emails a lot of the free versions don't come with uh, junk email and spam and stuff like that protection in your email clients some of them don't even support email protection at all and uh, having a paid version if that's one of your biggest problems then you may want to uh, look at paying for software you can see here also uh, you get extra layer of security again with this version of ransomware protection you don't get it with the uh, free version here and it's right across the board with Avasi's version here internet security premier and ultimate and you can choose whatever you, uh, suits your needs there now another question I suppose that people seem to get confused with is the word virus antivirus and some people think that anti malware programs are better for you because they protect you against malware whereas antivirus programs won't protect you against malware and that's a misconception that people make they do 
uh, protect you against malware. It's just the word antivirus has been around for so long that the word virus has sort of took a back seat a little bit and malware has come to the forefront and ransomware has also. But these programs will protect you against malware and adware and stuff like that. Okay, so you'll see these companies uh, training blows across uh, the internet with adverts saying one is weaker than the other and it's all marketing and uh, just don't get caught up in it it's just what these have to do to try and get sales because obviously the cost here is uh, to try and keep their company going and keep uh, the cost down so they bring the pricing down you're going to see offers here another thing which is probably a big uh, turn off for free versions is the adverts that you're going to get bombarded with a lot of these free versions will be bombarded with adverts and this is how they can offer it uh, offer it to you for free a good thing i liked about avast when i was using avast is there if you look at the view features here there was a little feature that said gaming and it allowed you to put it in gaming mode which means you won't be bombarded by pop-ups or any of those adverts uh, you still get protected but it just means that you're not going to get bombarded by it and i like that feature what avas added in and uh, kudos room for adding it in there some of the other companies don't add that in and of course what will happen is you're playing your game and a pop-up will pop up and you'll get kicked out of the game and it will drop into the taskbar there and again you could be in a key moment of that match <laughs> And that sometimes does happen but that's what you're going to get when you're getting free so just get bombarded by adverts to get you to upgrade to the latest versions which are here other than that you can't really turn them off really anyway we're going to wrap this one up remember you are the last line of defense your antivirus program is only there to try and help you it's not going to stop uh, antiviruses or malware 100 percent it's you that can do that by not clicking on links not downloading dodgy stuff and not doing uh, stupid stuff online and you won't get infected and basically you will stay safe other than that that's about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been helpful to you I'll give it a thumbs up and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos